Good morning, folks. Matt Neighbors here in Texas. It is cold, cold, cold. We are just now throwing on some clothes over our base layers, trying to stay as scent free as possible. But like I said, it's it's probably high 20s today. North wind. We're right here, uh, right outside the DFW area here in Texas, and uh, it couldn't be a better morning. We're looking for good things to happen. Um, We've been seeing a lot of our hit luster bucks on camera. They're moving during daylight trying to find the last few estrus does. So we're here today to do one of two things. We're going to hopefully take a, a good buck off our hit list or do a little management and knock down some uh, some nannies out here. So hopefully we see some deer. Hopefully we get some, get some good action on camera and able to put an arrow through something. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get dressed, put on a lot of clothes because it's cold as heck out here. And uh, we'll be back with you in a stick, stick with us. Hey folks, we're finally on stand here. December the 6th. It's cold, it's about 28 degrees, a light north wind. We're sitting in one of our favorite spots, we call it Buck Crossing. Because there's a lot of bucks that cross through here. It's uh, around the bottom of a bluff, right here to our, to our south. Back and forth from bed to feed and cruising for dough. So 
was three big does hunting a young eight point. I can actually see the eight point right now. He's still hanging around out there looking for his ladies, but we just put one in the 12 ring of a big doe. Like I said earlier, if we get some big does to come in, we're gonna do some management. We hadn't killed a deer all year. We need to do some management on this place and get some meat for the freezer, so. Just drop the hammer on a big doe. We're gonna sit here and I got a while, see if we can't get another doe or even a big bug to come through, so stick with us. We got meat in the freezer. Folks, we stayed in the stand as long as we could. It's about 11 o'clock now. We're uh, we're gonna get down. Unfortunately, we can't hunt all day because it'd be a great day to do that, but we're gonna get down and go uh, go ahead and get that doe out of here. Get her, get her skinned out and take her to the processor and have us some venison, so. We're gonna go ahead and get out and we'll meet you on the ground and go recover this doe. See that? Well, here we are, we're out of the stand. See, we were about 20 feet up the old millennium there. Big, nice tree. We are about to go. See what we got here as far as the blood trail area. Sticking up on a log here. Oh, okay. Red that area is. It was covered with blood all the way down to the old reaper. That's a bad broadhead, folks. Two inch razor tip. White tail special. And it looks like it had tricked the ground quite a bit, so. Clean pass through, and we're about to pick up a blood trail. Folks, here we are with a nice doe. We are uh, here in Texas. It was a cold, cold morning. But we kind of had a few things on our mind. We were trying to kill a buck, but if we didn't, we were going to do a little management and uh, take out a doe. So we did that. Nice, nice doe here. Put a good shot on her. She ran about 75 yards, and we watched her drop on camera. So. We're tickled to death. We got us some meat for the freezer, and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to get back out and uh, chase some more of these these big bucks we have on camera. But for now, we've got to get out of here and actually do a little work. So, anyway, glad you're with us. We uh, we have some good eating on the table now, so stick with us.